going to date to my August reading wrap up and book haul. Um, I didn't get many books this month, oh well, I got a lot at the start of the month while I was finishing up my work experience placement, um, but I talked about those in a separate blog, separate vlog, because there were quite a lot of them. So they've got their separate one. One book that I did technically get on work experience but I didn't have at the time to talk about in a video was The Invasion of the Tearly by um, Erica Johansson. I have done a video review and a written review for this now and I will link them either somewhere here or definitely in the um, description box down below. I do want to show you how beautiful this cover is um, and if you open it this lovely lovely blue inside. Such a pretty book, such a good book. Um, this is book two in the series, it's the sequel to The Queen of the TLA. Um, in the first one, this girl Kelsey becomes queen and like starts adjusting to being a ruler. And one of the rulings she makes is they, the country was sending slaves to the neighboring country and she puts a stop to that. Um, and that upset the ruler of the neighboring country. So in this book, we see the consequences of that. Um, we see that they are about to be invaded and we see how they're dealing with that. Um, it's very realistic with the development of the character, I thought. She does some good things, um, but she's not just like the typical fantasy young ruler who takes the throne and suddenly makes all these good decisions and everything is wonderful. She does make some decisions which seem good to her, but at the same time other people are like, well, you know, there's going to be consequences for that. And we see some of the consequences, but again, I think book three is going to have more about the effects of what happened in this book from the decisions she's made. Um, it also has flashbacks to learn to, like, the foundation of the Tierling. It was founded by people from our time, or about 30, 40 years from now. Um, they went from here to where the Tierling is. Um, don't want to say too much and spoil it, but the contrast between this bit set now and the bit set in the past is a very big contrast, and that. I can imagine not everyone is going to read that and love it. Um, so Kelsey gets these flashbacks at that time. It was very interesting, great book, I loved it. See my review, I gave it 9 out of 10. Yeah, I highly recommend that. If you haven't read the first one yet, definitely go out and do that. Another book I got this month is um, Iron and Blood by Gail Z. Martin and Larry N. Martin. Um, I've read a couple of Gail's books now. I've read one of her fantasy novels and I've read Deadly Curiosities, which is an urban fantasy. This one is more steampunk. It is set in Pittsburgh in 1898. Um, as with all steampunk, there are a lot of dirigibles and things like that. Lots of cool mechanical things. There are a couple of dashing heroes and a heroine um, who the trio of them work for a company who salvage goods for museums when there are questionable um, questionable strings of ownership. Um, so basically they're smugglers. But it was it's really cool. So far that's about how far through I am. Almost halfway, a little past halfway. I'm really enjoying it so far but I do keep getting distracted by other things. I did get an ebook. I won a copy of Anything But Broken by Joelle Knox. That is a pen name for um, the writing duo that is Kit Rocher or Moira Rogers. They've done a lot of books together now. I love their sexy dystopian series, um, the Beyond series, which they write as Kit Rocher. And I actually won this ebook of this new one, and it is contemporary romance with a very young the heroine is 20, so they're pitching it as new adult. Personally, I do not believe in new adult as a category. I'm not 100% sure of the age of the hero. He's older than her, but I don't know how much older. They've never explicitly said it. Um, but anyway, that one is very good. Um, it's about a girl who has come back to her hometown where she was a rich kid, um, but she was a rich kid whose sister died or killed herself, again it's not specifically stated, her sister is gone and was quite messed up before she died 
But now the girl Hannah is back in town because um, her parents were in a car accident. Um, so now she's essentially an orphan. She's basically had a really screwed up life. Um, but she comes back to town and meets Sean, who's a really nice guy. Um, except Hannah's not really had many interactions with guys before. And also, Sean was her older sister's ex-boyfriend um, from high school. So there's that little complication to it. So far I'm really enjoying it. It's like how Hannah is dealing with how she's always lived for everyone else's expectations. She's had these pushy parents and now she's free to do what she wants and to figure that out and dealing with the way that the people in the town are viewing her because she's that poor kid whose sister went nuts and now whose family are dead because of her dad drunkenly crushing the car. Um, so she's dealing with everyone's opinions and figuring out what she actually wants to do and it's really good so far. That's it for the books I received this month. I did read a couple of others. Um, I finished reading The Silk One way back at the start of the month which is by Robert Galbraith. It's the second in his series. It's weird saying his if you don't know Robert Galbraith is the pen name that JK Rowling uses to write crime. I really enjoyed it. I do like the occasional crime novel now and again, sort of as a change. I don't think I'm going to write a review of it to be honest. Um, if I encounter the sequel or the prequel to it, the first one is The Cuckoo's Calling, the third one, I can't remember what it's called but it comes out soon. I will read them if I find them in a charity shop or if they're given to me or something like that. But I think I have enough other exciting things to read that um, I'm not going to go out and buy it anytime soon. I read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets again. I'm doing a Harry Potter reread, which has kind of stalled now that I'm in Glasgow because the other ones are back home. So that's me two books in, except I'm really three books in because I've been listening to the audiobook of the third one and I'm almost done with that. Like I said, for my July wrap up, I think I love doing this reread now. It's really good to see all the little bits, the little tiny mentions of stuff that you think, ah, she knew that right from the start. Like all these little things that tie together. Another book that I finished this month was In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Um, again, I really enjoyed this one. This one is pitched as a thriller. The tagline on the front there, if you can see it, is someone's getting married, someone's getting murdered. This girl is a writer and she is invited out of the blue to the hen party of a girl who she hasn't seen since high school. She left her high school all of a sudden and it's kind of a big secret as to why. I guessed it pretty much straight away and it takes a long time through the book before it's finally acknowledged on paper why she left high school in a hurry without telling anyone. But right at the beginning of the book it kind of jumps between the present where this girl has run away from something, trying to get to the road, flags down a car, is hit by a car and is then in hospital trying to piece together the pieces of what happened and why there is a policeman standing at the door and she's possibly a suspect in a murder case. So it just goes between that and the the three days of the hen weekend. That was good. Again, I reviewed this, I will leave a link to it below. Um, also back at the start of the month, I read Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. That one was amazing. Um, it's first in a series, it is fantasy, there are three different worlds, three different Londons, and the main character Kel has the ability to travel between them. Um, different worlds have different levels of magic and you can't move, you're not allowed to move things between. Kel is about the only person um, from his world who he knows who can travel. He also knows someone from another London who is able to travel travel but it's just the two of them that can move between the worlds. In one London there is an awful lot of magic, in one in another London there's no magic at all pretty much and in Cal's London it's kind of a good balance really. He smuggles objects between the worlds and basically he gets caught and is in a whole lot of trouble because of that um, and I'm gonna review this one soon and talk in a lot more detail about it then. The final book that I read this month, or finished reading this month, was I reread The Chimes at Midnight by Sean Maguire. This is book seven in her October Day series. Um, this is about a sort of fairy world. It's based in the San Francisco Bay area. And the main character, October, or Toby, 
um, is a changeling, she is half fae and half human. This one, this was a reread for me because the newest book is coming out soon and I had this one and its sequel, The Winter Long, here with me at the flat and I thought I would reread them. The new book, A Red Rose Chain, has just come out and I'm planning on reading it very, very soon. Um, don't want to say too much about this one because it is quite late in the series, but it was really good to reread it without, like, knowing, obviously no, she survives, there are sequels, but knowing what bad things happen to which characters and who I need to be fearful for and just to be a bit more relaxed reading it because I know it's coming and also to pick up little details that I thought would be good to remember for the new book. So that was really good to read. Um, I have several books on the go but I haven't finished any others this month. Um, that was actually a lot more books to talk about than I thought it was going to be. Um, so that is my book haul and wrap up for August. I will talk to you soon. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this and check out my other videos and the links that I will leave down below to my reviews.